This is the ultimate guide on taking screenshots on a Mac, so let's begin with it. First of all, you don't need to download any third-party software because Apple has it really well with the built-in features of the Mac OS, so you just can use the native stuff. So there are shortcuts and the manual method. When it comes to shortcuts, there are actually five of them. So if you press Command Shift 3, then the entire screen that you have on your MacBook is going to be captured in a screenshot. So everything that you can see and you're going to get like a small preview or like a small image at the bottom portion of the screen, which is going to show you that you just took a screenshot. This is what it looks like and you can click on it and do some quick things with it. So clicking on this little preview is going to open it up uh, in like a larger image format and there are a couple of options, actually many of them. So you can add text, you can quickly scribble to them, you can just share the screenshot right away from here. You can click on the trash can to delete it right away or just click on the X icon to close the preview and pretty much save the screenshot. Or you don't even have to click on the preview at all and it's just going to disappear and be saved to your desktop. And if you press on your keyboard shift command four, then nothing is going to happen right away, but you're going to get the selection tool. That means that you can drag a rectangle on the screen actually. And the, the area that you select is going to be saved in a screenshot. So that's definitely very useful in case you just want to save like a portion of the screen and not the entire thing. And again, the same thing is going to pop up. You're going to get the previews and you can modify it. By the way guys, if you're new on the Apple Fox channel, make sure to subscribe so you don't miss future uploads. Let's continue with the video. The next shortcut is Command Control Shift 3. So you actually have to press four keys at the same time. And what this is going to do, like, you know, if we press Shift Command 3, it took the screenshot of the entire screen. But if we add the control key uh, to the sequence that we actually pressing, then the image, the screenshot is not going to be saved in your files, but instead it's going to be copied to the clipboard, which means that if you go to any text editor or if you go to the messages, you can just command V and paste it right there without actually saving the file because a lot of times you don't need to store it on your desktop or in your files. You just want to share it quickly. So that's a nice way of doing that. And the same thing applies to the command shift four shortcut. So instead of just clicking or pressing command shift four, if you add control to it, which means that you press control command shift four, then you can actually copy the area to the clipboard, just like we did with the command shift four, we selected the area in the rectangle that we want to capture as a screenshot. The same thing, but with the control pr key pressed as well, we get the selection, but it's just going to be saved or copied is the right word. It's going to be copied to clipboard and you can share it again with other people or paste it somewhere else. So the next shortcut is command shift five, and this is going to open like a huge or like a bigger selection of things and more options. I'm going to get to that in just a second, but I want to say that if these shortcuts don't work for you, that's probably because they are not enabled in the settings. So if you go to the system preferences and you go to the keyboard section, then click on the shortcuts. On the left panel, you can see uh, the screenshot. And if you tap on it, make sure that each of the shortcuts is selected and enabled. Because if it's not, then it's just not going to work. And okay, of course, you can just uh, select those that you're going to be using. But in case you want to use all of them, make sure that all of them are selected and enabled. Of course, you could, in theory, change uh, the keys for that shortcut. So you don't really need to press Command Shift 3. You can just change it to something else. But I don't know. I kind of feel like you're going to get used to it real quickly. And if you go and switch to a different MacBook, then it's just you're already going to be familiar with it. Anyways, if you click on Command Shift 5, if you press the uh, these keys for this shortcut, you're going to get to this panel. and. This is actually the same thing as if you would click on the screenshot icon in your icons list. So if you go to your all apps, uh, then you are probably going to click on the other folder because we usually have it there. There is a dedicated screenshot app. And if you click on it, 
is the same thing as if you would click on the command shift 5 shortcut. So you're going to get to this page and at the bottom there are many options actually. So uh, the first or like most on the left is to uh, the option to close it. Then we have the, the capture entire screen, which is the same thing as if we used the shortcut, but with like a manual method. Then next to it, you have the capture selected window and you also have selected portion. So the same shortcuts that we use, you can also use the same thing just by clicking on it, not using the keyboard. Next to it, you also have the screen recording option. So screen record the entire screen or just the portion, but also the options are there. And that's kind of interesting because this is how you modify where the screenshot is going to be saved and some other things. So as you can see, I have it saved to the, the desktop, of course, but there are other options like documents, clipboard, uh, preview and you can click on other location and you're gonna get to finder and choose where the screenshots are gonna be saved so that's really handy also beloved you have a timer which is kind of limited to 5 and 10 seconds only but I do not think that th this is even necessary because if you want to take a screenshot you probably just want to take it right away you don't want to wait five seconds or so like, I guess it may be useful for a couple of occasions, but most of the time you're just going to be okay with none of the timer. And beloved, you also have like the show floating thumbnail. That is uh, what I was talking about and referring to when I took the screenshot. So there was like the preview, which we could click on and share and delete or whatever. And beloved, you also have remember last selection so if you don't capture the entire screen and you just keep selecting windows then it's going to be saved from the last screenshot and beloved you also have show mouse pointer so yeah of course if you take a screenshot then the mouse the cursor is not going to be visible because it's not um, important but for some people it is for some occasions of course so uh, definitely you can enable it and make it show up so this was a comprehensive guide on how to take a screenshot on a Mac. There are of course other options like you could definitely download some third party app if you really wanted to but I do not think that there is a need for it because the built in one works well and taking screenshots shouldn't be that complicated that it would require some third party apps. Anyways guys hope you enjoyed it hopefully you found it helpful and if you did make sure to subscribe and leave a thumbs up because it does help the channel it does help the video and of course make sure that you stay updated because if you subscribe some new videos aren't going to pop up to you. Anyways thanks all for watching and we can see each other in the future videos.